Hey guys, Dan Buchan here, and, you know, welcome back to my channel. So, first and foremost, again, I just want to take a chance to apologize for the fact that I haven't uploaded a video in about three, maybe four days now. And again, that's just because, you know, most of my time has been consumed by creating this course. And again, I'm not going to go too much into it. If you want to find out more, just leave a comment, and, you know, I'll let you know exactly the process and the progress on the course. But, for today, I kind of wanted to go ahead and showcase a little tool. Now, one of the most common questions I get asked and one of the most common issues that I see in, you know, brand new Shopify stores is, you, you know, I really excuse my French, but a crappy logo. And I'm not holding anything against any of you brand new entrepreneurs because I realize it's difficult, right? If you're just getting into this industry, it's hard to differentiate between a good logo and one that's a little less, you know, good. Um, so I really really wanted to go ahead and kind of showcase a tool that will create a logo not create a logo for you But it's very very useful when you're going ahead and creating a logo and the best part about it is it's absolutely free and um, Another thing is again, you know I see too many logos that are simply just text right that is you went ahead You downloaded a font from Google and you just typed out your brand name or any your store name and created that as a logo now you know, it might fit in some stores, but in 99% of them, it just doesn't. So again, I just, uh, let me go ahead and, you know, enough talking. Let me dive right into this tool. Um, it's called logomaker.com. I'm going to leave a link for it in the, in the description, also in the pinned comment, so you guys can easily access this. And let me just go ahead and kind of run down and create like a sample logo so you can see exactly how easy this is. So for this sample logo, let's go ahead and let's just do the dog niche, right? Because that's so, so popular. Let's go ahead and kind of just let's just go out let's just dive in right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here into the search bar I'm gonna search the graphics and you know obviously my first keyword is just gonna be dog so you see right away there's a bunch of bunch of different PNG icons that pop up for dog and if you don't know what a PNG icon is it's basically just an icon with a clear background so you would be able to paste this anywhere and the background behind it would be you know whatever's behind it so it wouldn't have like a square white box around it or anything like that so Okay, so this is really, really good right off the bat, right? So we can do something like this, and we can, you know, say, uh, like, doggy training co. Something like this, right? And this is very, very simple. So let me just go ahead, and would I be able to change the font? I would. So let's check this out. Handwriting. This is really cool. Um, so we can do, let's see, lemon. This is cool. Perfect. So check this out. So what if we did... Let's just take that out of there. Um, let's go ahead and center this above this image. That's weird. It's not centered. Um, why is it not centering for us? That's very, very strange. Um, okay. No worries. We can kind of center it by ourselves. Um, so we can call this right doggy training and then literally go ahead, copy this, paste this, move this down here. And just paste in oh that's weird just paste in co right and it's really that simple so like right away this is a logo it's not the best logo we can do something 100 percent better so let's go ahead and let's try a different one um so we can do something like with the dog house right we can have um search dog again let's see what we can find so we can do like this right here and we can change the color of this to white so we can go ahead and select this change this to white move this up here right make that look really really nice um we could even fill it in if we wanted to so we can use the paint paint bucket oh whoops um, let's go ahead and select this logo and then paint it nope still not working that's really really weird um give me two seconds let me figure this out so what just happened okay i don't know what happened but let's go ahead and search dog one more time let's grab this paw again where is it it's right here wow this is kind of annoying but still a very very useful tool so we can get rid of that first one again change this baby to white um, let's go ahead and move this up so check it out so just like this and then we can go ahead and add text under it and we can write um, so dog house right so like in um, in the uh, I don't know I'm like literally trying to think of a brand name for this it could be just dog house right dog house or the dog house and 
honestly, creating a logo is this simple, guys. Like, there's really, really nothing too advanced about it. We can even resize this so it fits under the uh, kind of the roof of the thing a little bit better. So it can just look like this. Maybe move this like over here and change the color of that to black, right? So something like this would be very, very easy and simple to create. And right away, it just looks better than, um, you know, than a standard font logo. So again, we can change the font of this. We can make it um, anything really. We can even get out of handwriting. We can go into like 3D. So that's something that's really cool. I guess they only have one 3D one. Oh, this actually looks really, really good. Um, so again, we can do like the doghouse, something like this. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's find a couple more. So again, we can do dog. Um, that's a cool one. Let's try a different niche really quick because we already pretty much got through dog. So let's try cat, right? So if you're in the cat niche, um, you can do something cool like this. So like, right, this is obviously a ball of yarn. We can even change the color to like a nice purplish color, um, right? change the uh change the font so let's go ahead and do again um let's do fun and funky see what we find here perfect chewy so we can do um let's see we can do like cat and yarn co something like this right literally just move this above or under the the main image the main um what's it called yarn ball um, so something like this is so so simple to create and we can even go back into cat and probably like find a nice cat logo to go ahead and throw in here so we can you know drag this like this make it look like the cat's kind of playing with the ball of yarn right and kind of interact it with the name as well so it's like looks like it's sitting on it um, and let's go ahead and what we can do is we can actually let's try to flip this so if I just go like this no that won't work um, or we can always flip it like this right and kind of just yeah we can we can make it like this flip it like that move it over here oh that's actually even cooler if we made it a little bit less symmetrical and we kind of move the cat like this so it's playing with the yarn right and again let's resize this a little bit just like that that looks really really awesome and we can always move um you know we can move something like we can move this over here Call it Cat and Yarn Co. Again, we'll do the same. Um, copy this color code. Come over here. Change that color code as well. Press Enter. And for some reason, it's not changing. But huh, I know I'm the man. I know. Let's go ahead and turn off notifications. Wow. What is good with this? That's really weird. Hmm. Okay, cool. So we went ahead, we changed that. We can keep the cat black. It looks really, really cool. Black, and you know, that's what I think. Um, so, you know, a quick little black cat. Oh, this looks a little fresh too. So you can like have him playing with the, with the thing, have him right, you know, sitting right on top of the A and the T like this, playing with the yarn. This looks really, really awesome. We can even, you know, resize the yarn ball to make it just a little bit smaller. So it's a little bit, you know, a little bit better perspective. I actually liked it bigger, to be honest. So we can keep it big like this. Um, and again, you know, I'm not saying this is the best logo in the world. Like if you had a brand name called Cat and Yarn Co., you could definitely find a better logo than this. But what I'm saying is for those starving hustlers, right, those starving entrepreneurs who are trying to create, you know, all you guys who are trying to create a store on a minimum, minimum budget and you don't have the money to go and hire a logo creator, this is an amazing alternative because, again, you can create um, powerful, powerful logos. They have a bunch of different icons. You could probably find something for every niche. Like we could literally go into like fishing, right? And probably find something here, like a fishing rod, a fishing hook, not yet yeah, fishing hook, um, whatever this is. But this is just, you know, I just want to show you exactly how powerful this can be. And then I think you press this or yeah, you come back to your, um, to your workspace. And then what you do is you just download this, um, for free. You get to uh, you get to download for free. What you need to do though is you need to give the um, the uh, what's it called? You need to copy the credits. So if you have like um, an about us page, you can include the logo and be like logo created by uh, what's it called? 
by logo maker, whatever it is. Um, but again, I just wanted to create a short little video for those of you who are struggling with logo design so I can show you exactly, you know, one of the most powerful logo creation tools on the internet. Um, again, this is a 100% free software as long as that you go ahead and credit the uh, the actual, you know, the people who designed the, the graphics that you're using. And again, if we, um, if we like paste this in here, let me just see. Um, okay, so yeah, it just looks like um, a long, uh, a long link. Um, but again, very, very powerful, you know, much like Photoshop, a lot of Photoshop's uh, usability, functionality, all without the, you know, high cost. So again, I know your time is extremely valuable. Uh, so I'm going to cut this video short. If you guys learned something from this video, if you found it useful, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do me a favor, subscribe. If you, again, if you like the video, leave me a like. If you, if you have any questions, any concerns, anything whatsoever that you want me to answer, go ahead and drop me a comment and I'll answer that right away. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and you know, being with me throughout my journey on e-commerce and Instagram and Facebook ads and just everything. And again, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching watching and joining me and with that I will see all of you in my next video. Peace.